Hey, I am so excited to be sitting here in the pages of the Bible. Today, it's no telling where these pages are going to open up, but there is because we're going to open it right up to the prodigal son. Yes, that's what we're going to be talking about today, the prodigal son. We want you to join us. But before we start, let's pray. Father, thank you so much for this day. Thank you for the opportunity to walk through the pages of the most wonderful book there is to read. I pray that every word that is said from this book will land upon the hearts of every child like the pen of a ready writer, writing upon their hearts and their minds and their souls, your word, Father. We will be quick to give you all the glory and all the honor for it. I ask that you bless each and every child that hears this word, each and every adult that makes the word available to the children. And I pray a special blessing for our church. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Yeah. Here we go. Our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above with wisdom, power, and love. Our God is an awesome God. Our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above. Chicken Nuggets, me Carl. Hello and welcome to Grow TV. Welcome to Grow TV. Hosted by Carl. Where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now once again, welcome. Well, thank goodness y'all are here. Y'all are sight for sore eyes. <laughs> Except for you. <laughs> Just kidding. Hi. But for real, I've been missing y'all so much. You wouldn't believe what the past couple of weeks have been like. Now, as you remember, for the past month, I've been able to jump inside the stories in the Bible. Like, actually in the Bible. Pretty cool, right? Well, that's what I thought. Well, usually when I'm done reading, I go back to my normal room. But last week, I couldn't go back. And guess what? I still can't go back home. I'm stuck in the Bible. I'm not going to lie. It's been a really weird time for me. I mean, at first it was pretty cool because I found a really big crowd and got some free fish and bread. Then I got to see a talking donkey oh, and, and a talking snake, which seemed kind of suspicious if you ask me. Then I decided to go relax by the water for a bit, and guess what? A huge fish spat out a guy named Jonah. And if that wasn't weird enough, I was then in Egypt taking in all the beautiful scenery. And then some guy named Moses made a bunch of frogs show up. And you know how scared I am of frogs. <laughs> so yeah, you can say I'm having a pretty rough time. I just don't know what to do, you know? And to make matters worse, it's my half birthday. 
not my real birthday, but like the halfway point of it. Hence, a half birthday. It's my half birthday. Still a long ways off, but I always celebrate with friends. And I can't be home now because I'm stuck. Hey there, halfway birthday boy. Oh, hey Grace. Wait, what'd you call me? Halfway birthday boy. I just got a notification that it's your halfway birthday. <laughs> wow, really? Yeah, really. I figured I'd give you a call and celebrate with you. Thank you. <laughs> no problem. Wait, Carl, are you crying? No, I'm just, I'm just allergic to air sometimes. I mean, and me being stuck and all. Well, I'm happy for you, Carl. Wait, did you say stuck? Have you been stuck in the Bible all this time? <laughs> yeah, it's been crazy and I'm getting restless. I bet. Well, Carl, don't worry. Your friend is here, so let's have a good time and maybe we will find out how to get you back. Now, do you know where in the Bible you are? Well, I've been wondering a while, but let me see. Parable of the Lost Son. I'm not gonna lie, I smell pigs, <coughs> which scares me. Oh wow, the Parable of the Lost Son. This is one of the most famous stories that Jesus has ever told. Really? What's it all about? Well, the story starts in the book of Luke chapter 15. There's a father and two sons. Now, one of the sons decides he wants to leave his father's house and go do his own thing. Oh, wow. That's a big decision. It sure is. But this son was very sure he wanted to get out of there and be his own person. But things didn't go as planned. Really? Really. You see, his father gave him money before he left, and very quickly the son lost all of it. He spent it very foolishly and ended up in a much worse spot than he was before. What happened to him? Well, all over the land there was a food shortage, and this made it very tough for anybody to eat, especially the son. Right, because he had no money. So what did he do? Well, he was so desperate, he decided he would do anything for food or money, so he ended up with a pretty stinky job. He worked with pigs and basically lived with them. Oh, the smell makes extra sense now. It smells pretty gross. It was, and at one point, the son was so hungry, he wanted to eat even the pig slop. Disgusting! Yeah. Right? but no one would even let him eat that. So the son realized just how much he had messed up and he made another big decision. What did he do? He decided to get up and head back home. <laughs> Good luck, no offense, but he's probably better off with the pigs. Why do you say that? After the way he ran away from home like that, I doubt his father would be happy to see his son who wasted all his money and abandoned his whole family. Well, that's probably what the son thought too but it was worth a shot. He couldn't stand to be away any longer. So while he was headed back, he began to rehearse his apology to his dad. Oh, I do that sometimes. Like when I get in trouble, I think about what I'm gonna to say to my parents. Yep, me too. So when the son got close to the house, his father, who was a long ways away, saw him and began to run to his son. Oh snap, someone's in trouble. Daddy is mad. And when the father got to the son, guess what he did? Time out! No, wait! He grounded him for life. No, even worse. He took away his Nintendo Switch. Nope. He hugged him. His father hugged him and kissed him. He yelled back at his servants and told them to get the best robe and a shiny ring and to start preparing a feast because his son who was lost is now found. Oh, so that's what this robe is for. Oh, it's pretty nice. Wait, the dad was happy? Of course. But what about him leaving and wasting all his money? Wasn't the son selfish? He was, but the father's love is so much bigger than his son's mistakes. And Carl, you have to remember, this is just a story, but it's a story about how much God loves his children. And that includes you. Huh, wow, I get it now. We're all kind of the lost son every now and then. We forget what's important and sometimes make bad decisions. But you're telling me God still loves and forgives us? Of course. And you see how the father celebrated his son's return with a robe ring and a feast? The same happens when we choose to follow Jesus. God celebrates us.
incredible story, right, Carl? Right. Our big idea is something I really needed to know, and that is God celebrates us. So, Jada, kids, are you ready to shout it out loud? Well, I know I'm ready. Here we go. One, two, three. God, God celebrates, celebrates us. Great job, kiddos. I had such a great time learning today, and I really hope you did too. Oh, and uh, Carl. Yeah, Jada? Good job, but I think it's time for you to head back to your normal life. Yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> Thanks, Jada. Wah! Whoa, after two long weeks, I'm finally back. Carl, ah! I'm here. Where have you been? I've been looking around for you for the past three and a half minutes. Where have you been? I got stuck in my story, Andy. I'm sorry. Ah, don't apologize. I'm just glad you're back. We can celebrate your half birthday now. Okay. I can't believe it. You remembered. Of course I remembered. And Carl? Yes, Andy? Don't ever leave me again, okay? Okay, weirdo. <laughs> Let's just go get a corn dog or yeah, something. <laughs> Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of This Leviticus numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, Ruth, First and Second Samuel, First and Second Kings, First and Second Chronicles, Ezra, Nehemiah, Esther, and Joel, Psalms and Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, Song of Solomon, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Lamentations, Ezekiel, Daniel, and Hosea. Obadiah, Jonah, Micah, Nahum, Habakkuk, Zephaniah, Haggai, Zechariah, Malachi. It's a letter from God that sets everyone free, a gift for you. Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, Ruth, First and Second Samuel, First and Second Kings, First and Second Chronicles, Ezra, Nehemiah, Esther, and Job, Psalms and Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, Song of Solomon, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Lamentations, Ezekiel, Daniel, and Hosea. Obadiah, Jonah, Micah, Nahum, Habakkuk, Zephaniah, Haggai, Zechariah, Malachi. Yeah, the books of the Bible, the wonderful books of the Bible. The books of the Bible, the wonderful books of the Bible. It's a letter from God that sets everyone free, a gift for you, for me. the Bible. These are the books of the Bible. The wonderful books of the Bible. It's a letter from God that sets everyone free. A gift for you, for me. These are the books of the Bible. The wonderful books of the Bible. The wonderful books of the Bible. These are the books of the Bible. We're here for our memory verse. It's memory verse time, and we're doing 2 Thessalonians 3.3. 3. And my two special friends, Avery and Kennedy, are going to say 2 Thessalonians 3.3. 3. That the Lord is faithful, and He will strengthen and protect you from the evil. Very good. Can we do that one more time? But the Lord is faithful, and He will strengthen and protect you from the evil one. All right, boys and girls, this has been an exciting lesson. And I'm sure you're asking yourself, what does Miss Robin have in her hand? I have head knowledge in my hand. Head knowledge, how are you? I am good. <gasps> He's good. Head knowledge has all kind of knowledge. His head is so full of knowledge, he has to wear a safety cap to keep all of that knowledge inside of his head. So today, we have 
we were talking about the prodigal son, the son that wanted to take all of his inheritance away. So I'm going to see just how much knowledge, head knowledge, has about the prodigal son. I the have story. all the knowledge. <gasps> say it again. I have all the knowledge. Head knowledge has all the knowledge. Let's see how much knowledge he has. All right, let me pull out my questions here. Head knowledge, what did the younger son ask for? He asked for all of his father's inheritance. That is correct, he did. How do you think the father felt when he left with all of the inheritance? How did the father feel when his son left with his inheritance? The father felt very sad and he was just, he was falling apart because of how sad he was because his younger son left him. You're absolutely right, head knowledge. The father was so sad because his son left him. And the son was sad as well because you know what happened? He spent every penny of his inheritance and he didn't have any left. And he had to go back home to his father. Head knowledge, did his father receive him? Yes, he did. He received him very gratefully and happily. But also, before he went back to his father, he had to work at a pig farm, and he ate the pig food. You're right, he ate pig food. I think that's why he wanted to go back home, because he was about to eat pig slop. Head knowledge, you're absolutely right. Boys and girls, did you beat head knowledge in answering the questions today? Head knowledge, thank you for joining me today. We're so glad that you came today as well. Bye. Have you guys ever really thought about salvation and what it means to accept Jesus into your heart? Well, it's as simple as A, B, C. If you don't know Jesus and you want to accept him to be in your heart, you can simply do the ABCs. If you have friends or relatives or people that need Jesus and they want Jesus in their heart, it's as simple as A, B, C. A, ask Jesus to come into your heart. B, believe that he died for your sins. And C, confess that you're in need of him. Simple, right? So I'm gonna do it right with you. So repeat after me. And you don't have to close your eyes, you can close your eyes if you want to. Dear Jesus, I ask you to come into my heart. Jesus, I believe that you died on the cross for my sins and washed them all away. Jesus, I confess that you forgive me of all my sins and that you are now Lord of my life. Amen. It's as simple as A, B, C. Now you're a part of God's family and you can now invite others to become a part of God's family. I love you guys. Welcome to the family. Does anybody know what time it is? Proverbs 11, 24, 25. Those give freely and become more wealthy. Be stingy and lose everything. The generous will prosper. Those who refresh others will themselves be refreshed. Let's pray over the offering. Dear Lord, thank you for this day and thank you for letting us come to church and praise you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. 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 Boys and girls, this has been such an awesome walk through the Bible today. We, have, we were talking about the prodigal son and we enjoyed hearing exactly what happened with the father and his two sons. But I have a special friend here with me today. Can you tell me, tell the kids what your name is? I am Head Knowledge. Head and Knowledge. And I have supreme intelligence over all earthly people. Absolutely people. right. How are you, boys and girls? Are you like the older son or are you like the prodigal son? Head Knowledge, would you be the older or the younger? I would be head knowledge. Okay, that's a good answer. I would be head knowledge. 
I have enjoyed this story. I've enjoyed our lesson today. I've enjoyed my friend head knowledge here. But now it's time for us to say goodbye. We have had an awesome walk through the Bible. And with the, in the Bible, the story of the prodigal son. So boys and girls, please join us again. We look forward to seeing you. And Head Knowledge, would you come to see us again as well? Yes, maybe sometime in, um, well, anytime because I can teleport. It sounds good. Let's pray. Head Knowledge, let's look up with your eyes and look down. Father, thank you so much for this day. Father, we thank you for your word. Father, we thank you for your gifts that you have given us. Most of all, Father, we thank you for our moms and dads that leave us inheritance. Let us be grateful for what our parents have given to us. Let us honor our parents at all times. Let us honor not only our parents at home, but our church family as well. And Father, thank you for our church. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Head knowledge, boys and girls, come back to see us next week here at Linked Up Kids.